Hi guys, it's Sophie. So today is another one of my watching me doing very little days, um, which I think are quite fun. Um, today I'm up in my mum's house um, in the city, in the city in Bristol, um, and I am doing a day of um, a little bit of wandering around some shops. I might go to Foils if I do, I'll film a little bit there for you. Um, and I'm going to a story slam, which is um, like a live storytelling event where people go up and tell two stories, a bit like the Moth podcast if you've ever seen that. So that should be fun doing that in like the afternoon. Um, and then not really sure what I'm going to do in the evening and uh, rest of the day. I might go see a film. Um, I'm dying to see I Am Not Your Negro by James Baldwin, so if that's on tonight I think I'm going to do that. Um, I do have a couple books I'm going to be dragging around with me today as well um, that I'll quickly show you. So I'm still going through The Way of the Strangers by Graham Wood and I'm absolutely loving it. I've got just that little bit there left now. Um, but it's it's so good, it's so interesting, um, and yeah, I just I keep just running back to it and picking it up. The other one that I've got um, that is a really re recent purchase that I bought um, because I read Bluette and I loved it, um, and everyone shouts about this one too, is The Argonauts by Megan Nelson. Um, and yeah, I've heard like only good things about this one. It talks about um, like gender and identity and like partnership and loads of really lovely things, and I just think. Bluette's really affected me, so I'm really hoping that I like the Argonauts as well. Um, I don't know that I'm going to get to this one today, but this is kind of like trying to prevent me from buying lo lots more books because <laughs> um, I want to read this one soon. And if I buy loads of loads of more new things, then I'm going to have to get to this one. So, yeah, that's my day plan. I'm sure that you will see a little bit later on. Um, yeah, talk soon. So I went down to the middle of town, but literally everywhere's closed, so I can't film anything in foils for you, um, unfortunately. Um, yeah, we kind of didn't think. Um, that it is like bank holiday weekend and the shops aren't taking advantage of it, they're all just shut. So we're wandering up to try and find a new bridge in town and then we're probably gonna go into the centre I think and try and find a drink or something. Um but yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Here it is, new little bridge. Apparently they put it up in like a weekend. I don't know. But yeah, there's literally there's nothing that we're allowed to do at all. Um so I think we're going to Go along to the middle. There's like it's like a little market. There's some books there. I'm just desperately trying to find more books. Like not that I need any, as you know if you see my other videos. But yeah, it's kind of cute. Um, it's not the worst it's day though, unfortunately. But yeah, I thought I'd film anyway and just kind of let you guys know what I'm up to. Um, hopefully you're well. I'll catch you later on. Um, I'm not sure how much it's going to be that's going to film. It's going to be interesting um, because I'm basically going to be like seeing stuff live and then seeing stuff in the cinema so I don't know like I can't film either one of those two things I'll just catch up with you later um, I think this is going to be a short one anyway Pumping, pick him up, jump him. Where's that tiger? Where's that tiger? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? I've been searching low and high, brow makes me wanna cry now. Play that tiger rag for me, right, Jimmy? No, I've never read it. I'm gonna wander, sorry, I'm gonna wander down, guys. I'll come back up to you, alright? Yeah. So I managed to buy a couple of books. Um, I got one by um, Gabriel Garcia Marquez, um, which is, I think, short stories. We don't know, we've never seen it before, it's interesting. Um, and I have um, The Wasp Factory by Ian M. Banks, which I've actually read, I read it a really long time ago, and I lost it. Um, <laughs> and it was a bit of a shame, so I don't think I finished it. I think I was like 20 pages from the end, and I lost it when I was in sick form. So I've been meaning to pick up a copy for a while, and it was, um, like, essentially new, but second hand, so I thought I may as well. Um, yeah. We're wandering up to go to the Story Slam event now. Um, I think I've messed up my white balance, which is why I look a little bit like I'm a ghost. I'm gonna have to fix that at home. I don't have to do it now, so uh, you yeah, have to cook that, but I'll talk soon. Bye. <laughs> So I'm just about to go and see I Am Like Your Negro, um, which is based on James Corbin's writings. Um, I am so excited to see this. I've been wanting to see this literally since the trailer came out. I'm going to read for a little bit now because we've got an hour or so before we're going to go in. Um, but yeah, I am so excited and I think I really love it um, just because I've been looking forward to it for so long. Um, but I'll just let you guys know after this how it went. Um, yeah, until then. 
so I've just got home now from I'm Not Your Negro um, and I liked it a lot. Um, I think I liked it mostly because I really like James Baldwin and he talks a lot in it and that's brilliant and obviously he's, um, well I mean not obviously but he, his, his writing it's like a lost um, piece of essay writing that he was going to put out that's read by Samuel L. Jackson um, and his writing is so powerful and him, him speaking is so powerful. Um, and the film was, was hard to watch, but in that, like, necessary way. Um, yeah, and I think maybe if you've never read anything or watched anything by him, you might watch it to get a taste and see what he's all about. Um, but yeah, it was good. Um, so yeah, hopefully today has been a little bit more interesting than watching me do absolutely nothing. Um, because I've done a fair bit today. It feels like I've done a fair bit. Um, yeah, so as I say, um, I will not be vlogging every day, but we'll be just putting things up um, whenever I have a day that I'm going to share with you, and hopefully you're enjoying that. Um, do let me know what you're up to this weekend. Um, <laughs> what kind of fun things have you had planned? Um, are you reading a lot? What are you reading? Um, and I don't know, what's the last really good book you've read? Because um, I am not buying many books at the minute, but I love book recommendations, and I feel like no one's given me one in a while, so recommend me some stuff. That is... That is my final word. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.